Let's see how this goes. Also, like I tell most people, the minute you um, mod anything, you have to turn the gameplay speed to slow because it kicks up to like fast for some some strange reason. I did get everybody added. I got the abilities working correctly as if they were actual players. Um, I have three coppers, a copper punter, myself at defensive tackle, and then who else? Another receiver who's a copper. Basically, what I, I made sure I only gave the copper players um, abilities that didn't affect ratings, and I just gave them the best of the generic ratings. I needed to find a way to make it balanced, so I didn't do any legend phases or anything. I just kept it pretty simple, pretty standard. I didn't really want to use the editor, but it's just there's you know the nuances of speedburner not working correctly unless they're a gold player was kind of annoying. I can't create the franchise people from Madden 21 if I can't give like some of our fastest people speedburner, especially our you know soft drink at receiver was a was a burner. Um, Fizzy Wolf had like 90 something speed as a linebacker. Of course, I only gave him the maximum that his position would have anyway. I didn't go above above that, but. Breaks free, stop at the 32. The Osayers received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good I might need to try coach mode or something. Maybe in the second half I'll try coach mode. We'll try we'll try something, make it a little interesting. We'll start this drive at their 32 yard line. Okay, I pancaked him, but Taylor grabs the fastball over the middle and he's just barely Why can't I hear the game? Hold on, let's fix this. Alright, I didn't remember to save this because those the that music is copyrighted. And I I don't wanna <laughs> make Twitch mad, so Receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. It looks like we have <laughs> he injured Gil Sayers. Sayers. <gasps> wow. Okay. Goodbye. Gil Sayers suffers a tough break here. Unfortunately, injuries are too often. Yeah, that was a kind of an awkward tackle. Did I change it to slow? I think I did. Yep, I already did. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. We'll try coach mode in like the second half. We'll see how that goes. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Yeah, we're not very good on, uh, as a rush defense, which makes sense because we really weren't like that. We weren't good in rush run defense. They keep coming out in these two tight ends, but they don't put them on different sides. They just keep putting them on the same side. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Brandon's just stopping everything that they try to run. <laughs> but that's how he was. That's how he was. He was like the ultimate run defender in the middle, so. Second and 
That's me. I don't really know how well strength bonus translates to a defensive end, but I guess, I mean, it can't be that bad. It's got to be able to do something, right? It helps him shed blocks, looks like, maybe. I could be wrong. I know run coverage helps shed blocks. Run coverage in this game is, like, it's not really, like, pursuit. It's mostly just block shedding. Ah, I messed up the coverage. Please don't get beat for a touchdown. Incomplete. It'll be... By the way, if anybody wants to join the team, we've got all the backups, offense and defense. We've got the entire offensive line. We've got fullback. We've got number two defensive tackle and number two corner. We need we need some starters. And if you do, I'll make you a copper. But your abilities will be limited. You can't use any abilities that affect your ratings. That's just per my own little rules. Number two deals the punt at the seven. Stop at the fourteen. The home what am I? What am I playing on right now? That's the 1080p one. Let's try a seven, the 72060 one. Oh, a little hazy. All right, well, I didn't go well. Carl Banks targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. I mean, I could always use a number two receiver. I uh, always could, man. Or excuse me, a, a slot receiver that's pretty decent. You know, you know the slot receivers in this game aren't very good. Golly, they had like the perfect coverage called right there. Just, they had like cover two soft, and they were just sitting there at the first down line. That's our punter. He has uh, coffin corner punting, so he's he's pretty good at uh, pinning them inside the five or something like that. Although, if I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna play the first half, and then we're gonna do coach mode the second half, kind of see how that goes, and then that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for tonight. The Rhinos had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 49-yard line. throws a bullet to the flat and it's caught at the 46. Okay. On the white angle, try to tackle him. At the 39. It will be first down. Reggie Cobb is all alone out there, and he takes full advantage. Where's the coverage? Well, that's good concentration because sometimes the most oh he got that stupid block. He's like he ran to the back of his teammate and he got that stupid animation where they gotta like shed the block or so to speak. Yeah, he's not running any tricky passes, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to.
Bro, what in the world? Do I gotta move them to the outside? I think I gotta, if I'm gonna do that type of uh, inverted coverage, I'm gonna have to move him to the outside because he should have been out there to cover that, but he wasn't. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second and inches. Very nice. Fractured arm out for nine weeks. Yeah, he got he got the well. No, he just got an awkward awkward tackle. I think they purposely like shot animations on tackles to make it look uh, worse. Thanks, Peter. Woo. Thank you. Makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. And then when I do coach mode, I can uh, can. I can send it up to 1080p. I'll send it to 1080p on coach mode. That way it looks better. He does have return specialist, but uh, I ain't seeing it. <laughs> I wonder if you swap him to the middle in the franchise, if that would be better than uh, coach mode. So we can run the ball. I mean, he is just a bronze running back, and all he has is strength bonus. So he's not the best, for being honest. Okay. Corey Upshaw makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I get. All right, big play. Let's switch. Black fifteen. Number seven unloads this to the right sideline, and the reception is made. Oh, he's gone. 97 speed is gone. No. I actually let the receiver run after catch because they're faster. Oh, yeah. The D might want to put more men on him next time. He just couldn't get cranked up. That 97 speed is about to come in handy, though. Golly. Our line ain't very good. The only thing that this is missing for like franchise is the fact that my players won't get better. That's the only thing I don't like. Well, our players won't get any better than what they are right now. So like if they have like an amazing season, that's it. <laughs> I just—I forgot how to—I forgot how to slide. I forgot how to slide. Is sliding even in this game? <laughs> I didn't give him 84 speed because that would have been utter ridiculous. But I did just give him the 70 speed that every uh, speed burner gets. So he—he's decent. This one will fall incomplete. It'll be fourth down. The incompletions keep piling up. It's a field goal. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. I don't think I'm going to have the, the leg power to make it, to be honest. I'm going to try, though. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Oh, I would have made it if I wouldn't have shanked it. Oh, my goodness. I would have actually made it if I wouldn't have shanked it. Wow. My wife says the TV won't work. One second, I'll be right back. 
difficulties. All right. Or, oh, something went wrong there from the get go. All right. We got about two minutes and 40 seconds left of this first half. I just shanked the field goal, as you guys saw. Um. Hmm. The Linos have been locked in a defensive slugfest so far and will start this drive at their 37 yard line. Brandon, you just can't get away from him. <laughs> He's just like got run reader, run coverage, wrap up tackle, big hit in leadership. <laughs> He's like an amazing five five ability gold middle linebacker. Just complete run stuffing. Second down, one man back. Wait a minute, why is that guy open? Okay, remind me not to do any shifts when I'm in man coverage, because that, that went very horribly wrong. I'm interested to see how coach mode goes. That's the cool thing about this. If you have him in man coverage versus a halfback, and halfback stays in block, he'll just go ahead and rush the passer. I don't remember giving him sleeves. I need to check that. I'll have to check that later. Go put back our extra blocker, see if that does anything for us. Maybe. He did, he did break that guy's ankles, though. I'm sorry for the little bit of crackling. I don't really know where that's from. It's probably... It's probably from the fact that I'm using the HDMI capture device, but that's okay. I kind of prefer quarterbacks that don't have abilities because you have to move the analog just a little bit to get the, the power up to trigger. And I kind of don't like that because I don't really like pulling back on the analog because sometimes I need to get rid of the ball quickly. Almost got out of it. I could have given him branching tackles, but I don't think he really needs it, to be honest. I wish this is the only time I wish he had the 84 speed on the mod because that would have been I I could have got a lot more. Come on. It's making me sit through the timeout. Would a screen actually be beneficial right here? Just a basic little pickup that's Maybe. All right, LB staying in block. You just run deep downfield. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. He missed the block. He missed the block. Oh, my goodness. That takes them even farther 
He missed a block. He missed a block out there at receiver. Goodness. It's 10 seconds. I might as well go for it. Maybe, maybe I can hit something on the outside and get out of bounds. I don't know. I'd love to be able to hit uh, the tight end over there, but let's see what, what, how it goes. Oh, no. Bounce up in the air like that. Please don't let him return this for a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, that's one way to end the first half. I don't have maximum passing on either, which sucks. I need to try maximum passing because some of these passes I want to lead them or high or low or something or put a little bit of air on it and I can't. Alright, now that we're on coach mode, we're going to turn it back to 1080p. Down, guys. This is nothing. Nothing. Have to open that back up real quick. One second. Okay. Now, now the stream will look a little bit better. All right. Now let's see what happens with coach mode. I have no idea what to expect, but we'll see. But the good news is the graphics look a little bit better. Sader boots the second half kickoff away. Number two fields the second half kickoff at the ten. I wish I could flip the play at the very least. Goodness gracious. Yeah, he's definitely running a lot faster when the computer controls him. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it why they, they, they run so much faster when the computer uses them. Ooh, this could be a good one. Just kidding. I wonder if he actually charges up and stuff. I kind of I've kind of wondered that. Yeah, this second half on coach mode is a lot better. Mm, get out of it. Oh, this is going to suck. Okay, well, they're shifting the linebackers that way. That might help. Just kidding. He basically has, he has like 75 strength, which is near about a, what, a base gold running back? So he has pretty good, pretty good strength. Watch your side! Watch your side! Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but okay. I don't know how he didn't get sacked, but okay. And that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. 
You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> this is either going to end in a first down or it's going to end in me getting sacked. Because that's typically what happens. The defense is kind of, they're in a 3-4, so we should be able to get this off. They're probably bl blitzing out as a linebacker. Come on, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, well. Everett Mathis we tried. Job back there by not only getting the sack, but getting him way back for a huge loss. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about A plus, two thumbs up, five stars. It's all good, baby. Taylor falls it in at the 24. Tackle at the 30. John Taylor got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. Stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Oh, I can't do anything but scoot them in. I forgot. When you're in coach mode, you can't do anything on defense, really. Why is he so wide open? Oh, my goodness. Please get it. Thank you. I wish I could flip play right now. Oh no, it's gonna be terrible. Takes the hit in the backfield at the 43. Michael Lane would not be denied and drop them for a huge loss. Big play. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. I forgot which side of the are okay. So he's the intended target. Okay, good. Making sure we got a star player that's actually the target. I don't I hate when they like Intended receiver is like a non-target or a non-tiered player. Tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Joey Browner couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. On second down, this one, this isn't that bad. This he might be open. He might just get open on this. Nice pressure that time. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Seven. Oh dear. This one over the I don't know. He's making some pretty bad reads, y'all. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Willie Wood knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Well, the well we got to depend on our kicker uh, and our punter, I guess. Completion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Number 19 takes the snap and punts it away. Good punt. Great punt. Wow. Let's go. The Rhinos fumbled the ball away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time as they start this drive at their own four-yard line. Wow, just right down the middle? Like, really? Really? That's the only thing. You can't make good shifts. Like, uh, mm, I don't know. Coach mode isn't that bad, but it's just there's a lot of shifts I would like to do on defense, and I can't, so... Nothing. 
I didn't even get my play call. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, if I'm going to do coach mode, I'd rather just watch. Because it's like, they're making some really dumb decisions. Or there's not, there's just like, I can't, I can't make the, the, the shifts exactly like I want. So it'd be better for me just to not make them. I don't know. Yeah, that's not good. They're just running the ball at will. They move the ball and it will be second down. Oh my goodness. Nowhere to go. Alright, we're gonna try some man to man, see how this goes. I don't know if cover one actually exists in this game. I don't think cover one exists. I need to add it. Hey, there's me making a tackle. First tackle of the game. Got to see how I did. My little skinny nose tackle right here. Holding on for dear life. Yes, sir. Well, if we're going to do anything, we got to do it now. We got two minutes left. I don't know if I can swap it to the center in franchise mode, though, so. Eh, I don't know. Number two deals the punt at the 36. Stop at the 39. The Rhinos aren't a bad team, though, if we're, we're going to be honest. They're not bad. We're just lucky that we injured Gail Sayers in, like, the first or second play of the game. All right, somebody's got to get open. Bro, you can't just chunk it up every time, bro. Interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent Second fundamentals right here. Second down. I'm supposed to run this to the to wide go. side of the field. I messed up. Number seven fires this and he just drops it, bro. What in the world? The computer is kind of trash, man, for being honest. Dan, usually he's Mr. Dependable out there, and you have to wonder if he heard some footsteps. I mean, he's a this is all pro difficulty. He's a silver receiver. 
he shouldn't he shouldn't be dropping it but you know what do I know okay what are you doing okay I'm about to say bro if he I can't skip it is buying him all kinds of time here. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, oh you got it. So far, he's got 103 yards and one interception. Typically, I would go with a gold quarterback and a bunch of bronze uh, weapons on offense, but this isn't my team. This is... Uh, the different this is the uh number seven puts his Ooh. arm into this one oh come on from the receiver incomplete third drop of the game for him peter and look the AC cut on hopefully y'all don't hear oh, blown yeah, on the mic sticks can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense no doubt about it second down right. with the tight end right come on one of y'all gotta cook bro somebody gotta get open Billy, I don't care if it's you. Somebody. Okay. Not what I expected. Okay, well, that didn't really work out. Yeah, I know it's third down. If we hit this tight end for a few yards, maybe it'll be more manageable. Seven, throws this one right Let's go, Billy. My man making some one handed catches. What is this? your teeth in those circumstances and just not let them get you no way no how first down and four he's a little bit better because he has the best generic ratings and he has tough in the middle which is because he's a possession receiver but i don't know other than that he's not all that good i'm gonna just get rid of it what? what oh my goodness yep just how i drew it up Oh my goodness, yep. Just how your boy drew it up. <laughs> oh my goodness, they almost blocked it. Because every time I, man, every football game I play, when I let the computer kick, they near about block it, I swear. I wonder if I could put my uh, punter at kickoff. Like if he'd be any better, you know? Maybe, maybe not. They got to be three or four receivers. There's no way they're not. Start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.13. Oh, my goodness. What a terrible angle of pursuit, bro. Terrible angle of pursuit by the cornerback over there, dude. And does what he has to to stop the clock. That's good thinking. Yep, did the smart thing by running out of bounds. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. They only need a couple here. Second and two. No dice, and 
Woo. Finally, we get a pass rush. The whole game, I've been waiting for like a pass rush from our star defensive end out here, but he hasn't done anything. Wow, he dropped it. We got so lucky. Hey, we've been dropping a bunch of passes this game, too. So that's what I'm saying, man. If you're generics in this game, dude, unless they're the possession ones, they drop them. They're not, they're not good. They're, they, the speed and the balance, or the speed ones are terrible. The balance, I don't know. I never choose balanced receivers. I always choose possession just so they don't drop them. Number two. Get the ball! Get the ball! Get the ball! Get the ball! Come on, man! This game is so rigged! Oh my goodness, this game is rigged. Mm -mm -mm. You hate to see it. Oh my goodness, he redeemed himself! He redeemed himself! <laughs> go, 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 go! Don't you get caught! Don't you get caught, okay. Let's go! He's like, I told you I'd redeem myself! Oh my goodness. What a crazy finish this has been. Alright, will we be able to get the ball into the end zone? That's the question. We're set to pass blocking offensive line, so... Did think so. All right, we basically flipped it. Typically, the receiver would be on the wide side of the field, but we're going to try to run in this way because we ran to the right, we didn't get it. So let's try to run to the left. Okay, they're just stopping the run every time. There's nothing. There's no reason for us to pass it. Really, there's no reason to pass. Okay. All right, we're going to try to run him one more time. We're going to try to run him one more time. Oh, goodness. Well, they got a gold over there, Joey Browner over here. So let's just hopefully do something with it. And he don't break the tackle. He, he trucks, but he doesn't break it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. All right. Maybe I should. I probably should have ran to the outside the first time and then tried running up the middle the second time. That's probably what I should have did. Boom. Let's go. All right. They've got no timeouts. We've got three, so... As long as we don't give up a crazy touchdown or anything. Epstein boots it away. Luckily, they don't have like a, a crazy receiver. Well, I say that. Okay. Let's tighten up. 18 seconds. We got out here with the dub, boys. Let's tighten up. Start 
this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 18. This one hard over the middle. Mm, okay. And he stopped right there. First down. Fine. I'll say cover inside. I don't know. Apparently they will. Alright, they got. I don't know. I, I, I felt like that could have been the correct call. Ob obviously, we got to go prevent, fan, contain. Second down. The clock is stopped at two. Aitman throws a big high lob. Woo. And it's intercepted. Let's go. Okay, then. Wyatt, you're about threw us the game and then turn around and saved it for us one play later. That was amazing. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Hakeem would snuff out a drive on this one as he's there to recover the fumble. The home team late in the fourth quarter. All the oh, yeah, that was that crazy, crazy play where it's a deflection for a touchdown. A 24 yard touchdown for the home team. Late into the fourth quarter, game tied, seven all. Number two would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass. For, for my partner, Peter mm. O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Mm -hmm. Great, great game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed that thrilling uh, conclusion. Um, yeah. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.